So I started sipping some V8 juice in these little tiny cans, low sodium, and um, it was like heaven. It it just it quenched what I needed to quench. You know, I'd been having a little bit of sugar with the grape juice, and this took care of a little bit more sodium than what I'd been having, even though it's low sodium. And it also has 570 milligrams of potassium, and um, it only has one gram of protein in the whole can, but I think I really needed the potassium. And I didn't drink the whole can yesterday. I only drank to about not even a half of it, but at least it was something else that I could um, get into my body besides sugar-free type um, drinks and clear liquids. Um, after I was able to drink that, uh, then I felt pretty brave. I've also learned about my band that in the morning it hates me and in the afternoon it likes me. So I think mornings, at least until the swelling's gone, are going to be not my best time of the day. And evenings will be when I can uh, help make up for hydration and get in a few more fluids. So yesterday afternoon I was able to um, drink a chocolate protein shake with a little just a tad bit of decaffeinated coffee, uh, instant coffee in it with skim milk and I drank probably about four ounces of that. Um, I dipped the spoon down into some pudding, or not pudding, into yogurt and I licked the spoon a couple times and um, after I let all those things settled I decided I could handle that. I was ready to move on even though I probably by paper wasn't supposed to start it till today. So I had a small sugar-free um, chocolate pudding and I took a half a scoop of my chocolate protein powder which is 10 grams of protein and I added to the um, little jello pudding cup and I got in 10 grams of protein. It probably took me about an hour or so to eat all that um, or maybe I, I think I ate like half of it in an hour and saved it and then ate some more a little bit later but I got in 10 grams of protein almost basically at one time so that was an improvement. Um, I took some Campbell's um, potato soup, cream of potato, and I just took like a couple spoons of it, put it in a pan, a couple tablespoons of milk, and uh, mixed that together and I beat the potatoes down with a, like a, oh, a handheld mixer that purees things, and I added a little more milk, and so I had some creamed pota potato soup that was strained so there was no chunks in it. And um, I had just a few bites of, of that. And then today for lunch, this is what I had my little potato soup in. Isn't that a hoot? About, oh, I, I didn't even fill it a half of the way full. I used this little spoon of my daughter's from when she was a baby and uh, ate my soup last night and today out of that. I would say last night I ate about an eighth of a cup. And... Um, I ran to the store two times yesterday. I drove. Uh, I didn't stay in there very long. Um, it was cold and I felt a little yucky when I was in there. Um, but I could tell last evening that the nausea was finally starting to go away. And um, again at 6 o'clock last night my um, temp was about 99.3. I didn't worry. I didn't even take any Tylenol or anything at that time. Um, I just let it ride. And now here we are to today. Um, I slept good last night. I didn't take any naps yesterday, so I got a really good night's sleep. Um, I'm almost rolling over without having to hold on too tight to my stomach. That's another thing. I've been able to sleep on my, I'm a side sleeper, so I've had no problem at all sleeping on my sides. Um, I do use a pillow for some um, extra support, and um, I really didn't even need that too much last night. So today I woke up feeling great. I thought this is the day that um, I go back to being a step closer to normal and that's pretty much held true. Um, I ate a popsicle as soon as I got up and I think tomorrow I'm not going to do that. I've been eating popsicles and for some reason when I get up I eat a popsicle and I think that is making me feel yucky now that I've realized how tight my band is in the morning especially you know with my stomach still so swollen from surgery. So um, I'm going to try a different tactic tomorrow. I'm not going to hit myself so early with the liquids and the fluids thinking, got to get them in, got to get them in. I'm going to wait just a little bit and uh, see how my day goes and um, let my stomach wake up a little bit before I start bombarding it with um, liquids because 
I felt nauseated mid-morning once I got some liquids in there. So um, let's see, what else have I had today? I opened another V8 juice um, at lunch. Oh, for, let's start with breakfast. For breakfast, I had about four ounces of a vanilla protein shake with skim milk, and uh, that went down okay. And then I had about a fourth of a cup of cream of potato soup for lunch with about three sips of V8 juice. And then I'm continuing to sip on this can, and today it's uh, 2.30 in the afternoon, and I've drank about this much. And I've had a couple soups, sips of my Welch's. I just opened this bottle this morning. Doesn't look like it's been open, but I've sipped on it. And then this is my bottle of water that I've started on today. And um, like I said, about four o'clock this afternoon, um, my stomach will just open up and I will be able to drink quite a bit more of this at night tonight. So um, let's see what else. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos, um, so I'm still keeping up with you. I haven't been able to comment probably to everybody that's left me comments, but um, it's just been hard to kind of set at a computer, but I think I'm getting to the point where setting is a little bit easier. I thought if I can get the camera pointed right, I would do a body shot today. We'll find out tomorrow on my way in day exactly how much I've lost, but um, it should be somewhere around 16 pounds today. And that's not just from since surgery. That was about a couple, I started counting a couple weeks before surgery. So let me move back. Okay. So, um, 15 seems like a lot of weight, actually 16 to be technical about it. Um, seems like a lot to lose, I can tell in my face. Um, I can tell even in like the arms um, of my robe that were too tight and now they're not tight. And um, I just, I don't necessarily wanna be an overnight sensation. Um, I, if this goes slow, that's perfectly fine with me. Um, I, if you watch my earlier videos, you'll uh, probably notice that I, although there was a lot of reasons why I chose to have lap band, and I do want to be a thinner person, my weight was never a huge issue um, on how I functioned through most parts of my life. And to, you know, I, I have fun. We do things, we go places. Um, and I still want to enjoy food. I just don't want to let food control how much I'm intaking food. I want to be able to control how much food I intake. So, um, I, you know, I'm not out to lose 100 pounds in the first, I don't even think I want to lose 100 pounds in the first year. I'm, you know, I, I, if I lose 70 pounds, that would be fine by me. I just want a slow, even, steady pace and still enjoy my life. Um, I don't have any reason to make any such dramatic changes in a short time. So um, I just want to see a steady decline. Um, I know there'll be plateaus and a few times where possibly I gain, but I just want a nice steady decline over time. And eventually I want to get to the place where I can do some things that I couldn't do before or that I can't do now. So anyway, um, I'm feeling better about it today. The past three days, I thought, this is not gonna be worth it. I can't eat like this the rest of my life. Even though I knew that, um, that I was on a liquid diet and I wasn't gonna be on a liquid diet the rest of my life, but it felt like I was cursed to that specific diet. And I know now that um, there is some light at the end of the tunnel, so. Anyway, I've uh, made these two videos long enough, but I wanted to update just specifically about what's happened on my first three days into the fourth day, and I'll probably do a video tomorrow with my weigh-in. So um, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.